What did I turn him over? The railroad. It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. noticed you. Do not expose yourself.
There is a maintenance shaft up ahead. Use it to return to the surface. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. Ah! <laughs> 
Bridge on the overpass. I suggest cutting the road supports. That should bring it down. about it.
your dog has a far greater intellect. <laughs> is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. Wait! 
shit! Goddamn, I eat each of my legs. <laughs> I need a job. Stop! I didn't know what I was signing up for. missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him. I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow.
I know. Not so black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you! How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on a killer. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. The sheep. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. They expose someone to anger long enough, they learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All means. All past on. How about full of shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoy it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off 
of my pain inhibitors. What? This... This is madness! You... Do it! Uh, all right. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip! 